This is a fucking six year trip. <laughs> Excellent at their craft, a real pleasure to watch. I mean, you can really you can really see the fans connecting with them. It's a treat for anybody, you know, whether you're a crew member, whether you're an opening band, whether you're a promoter. I've had people come up to me after the shows that were working the shows and just totally blown away. I can't believe the drummer's hitting so hard. I can't believe Andreas' sound. Sepultura is my family. Let them miss our family. Ratos de porao. Brasil, porra. That one. Yeah. Hello guys from Sepultura, welcome to London, um, good to see you again, all the best. I gotta say, if I don't die on Slayer on Tuesday next week, <laughs> I think it's fair to say this tonight was the most violent shit ever, it was beautiful, it was heaven. Sepultura from Brazil! No fucking way! I think there are very few bands out there to do it, just like Sepultura does it. I think they are actually the best role model that most new bands can have. Um, you know, just to stay down to earth, just keep playing their music, keep working on their craft, forget all that stuff that comes with, you know, a momentary fame, and just keep going. Because that's the thing that's going to make you last 30 years. <laughs> Six years I fucking waited, right? <laughs> Cardiff, 2009, I was that fucking close. Bloodstock, 2015, fucking finally. Cried through the entire set, dislocated my knee, left shoulder again, unfortunately, and almost did the same tonight, and it was fucking amazing. Yes, my friend. It's hard to sum up how amazing tonight has been. Uh, like literally, spiders on acid. There from 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 Munich to to London and just pleasure, no? To see these guys on stage, to freak out in front of the stage, you know, it's like <laughs> it's the best thing in life you can imagine, you know. <laughs> That was small, we did three shows there, it was fucking insane. A few years ago. It's really nasty, cool place. Well, and they put like 100% into it. No half measures at all. It's a brilliant, you know, thrash metal band. They're really heavy, like, they're not categorised, which is really good. They're good to their fans, they're, they're aggressive, they're powerful. They seem to display the, the power that, um, that, that no band has sort of got together since Slayer's early sort of stuff. They've just got a really good feel about them. Hey, that guy <laughs> From Brazil, what do you expect? Yeah. Even though we are from Brazil, you know, fans from Argentina, from Chile, or from Colombia, they felt Sepultura was their own band. Even in Mexico and Spain, Portugal, that we have that kind of cultural connection, it's uh, was really something that happened once, you know, with us. And it's hard to explain why. I mean, we were at the right time doing the right things, you know, right choices. It really puts Sepultura in a very special place on the, the metal world. 30 years of a band without fans wouldn't be possible. Since Max left, many fans had that kind of 
feeling of dividing, you know. I'm either with this or that and stuff. And now it's great to see people coming, talking about against, you know, uh, an album that people was like, ah, you know, like, this is not Sepultura, this is not that and stuff, you know. Now and people realize, yeah, this is very Sepultura. It's one of the most important albums of our career, you know. It kept the band together, it showed a new direction for the band. Uh, every album we brought something new regardless of the formation of the group, you know. These are people who are really paying attention. They were there from the very start of when I got in, or even before. And they're very open-minded and very fair with their criticism, and I can really relate to that because they've been listening to it. There's other people who just never listen to it and they have a comment or a view, and I can tell from that comment or view that they've never been to a show, heard any of the songs, or maybe one song, or never really followed the direction of where the band has been going, where we've been. It's not there anymore, finally, you know, I think the, the Sepultura fan will listen to the music, which is what we do, you know. We're not telling stories or tales or, of our own history, we, we play music and people are starting to realize that all the gossip and all the drama involved in the separation is not a part of it. Every day we give 100% on stage and we have that feedback from the fans singing the lyrics and young and old. People who were wearing the shirt that they were like 92, 93, very happy, you know, to see us. It's great, man. We go back home with, the, with that feeling of mission accomplished, you know, <laughs> really experiencing that reality, that real thing that we have on stage with the, the fans, you know. You cannot beat that and you cannot fake that, you know, you cannot forge that. You, it's either there or it's not. It's a good energy exchange, you know, when you have the fans and and be able to do what you do and uh, be appreciated. We still have the fire, you know, if you still have the passion. As long that still it is on us, you know, we're gonna keep going. And that's how I feel. Uh, once you lose that, and uh, might as well find something else to do. I'm that fan as well, you know, I was that fan. You know, I still am a fan of music, so to be able to connect with a musical band or a piece of music and something, Incredible, you know, it really can change your life. I know it did for me hearing certain songs and, and, and lyrics and things like that had such a tremendous impact. But for me, seeing it, it's incredible. It never ceases to amaze me. It's just that connection, no matter where you are in the world. You know, it could be a language that we don't even speak together, but we're communicating through the music. No matter what the religion is or anything or the color of the person, you know, it's something that's always breaking barriers and it's great to see that live and to, to feel that, you know, it's something very real and very honest. That's our gasoline, that's our fuel. I am moved by that. I love the energy that goes on the stage. That's something like crazy, you know? That's something really good to be in the stage and sharing the, all this energy with the fans. You see like the guys going crazy in front of you. They know like all the lyrics, they know all the, the drum feels. So that's something really intense. Something like the, that really gives me power, you know? When you have like a, a crowd that they are really into your music, they are going crazy, they're really having fun, that's the best thing in life for me, you know? And that's all I can say. Because I'm like, I'm playing metal. Some people they think that I'm playing something bad or, oh, that's metal, that's wrong, that's so evil, but not. Me and I can say for all these guys, we are just trying to give you something good, to give you some happiness, some joy of life. That's it, that's what I want to do, always, you know. The thing that draws people to the music is the, the power, the attitude behind it. It's very, very honest. You can 
hear that in the music as far as, you know, there's four guys that were jamming in a room, pounding out stuff, and you see that on stage. And being able to be happy on stage, I think people can see that as well. And just being ourselves, you know, we're really doing what we truly love, and I think this is something that transcends everything and why it's so accessible for a lot of people. People enjoy seeing that, enjoy seeing people loving what they do. Did you notice any significant changes in the crowd so over 30 years? They're getting older. <laughs> <laughs>